Nyagwa nyagwa yori yori so sudani yori yori nyagwa nyagwa yori yori shi mongolia I started working with these people in the POC, building trust, buying biscuits for these children, telling them the truth that is in me, not giving them lies, not giving them hope on anything. So they, uh, now they said, we'll give you a name. They said Nyagwa. And I asked them, what is the meaning of Nyagwa? They said Nyagwa is a good girl, a clean-hearted girl, and a beautiful girl. So that's why they call you Nyagwa. If you build trust between you and the people you are working with, then it's never challenging. It's always a go ahead. When I um, saw the way they, these people are living in the POC, I decided that um, I should go to a team that will be interacting with these people daily so that you can know what is their problem. You can console them. You can talk to them until they trust you. I normally go to the field every day. Um, I come to POC 3 because it's the largest POC with more than 39,000 population. When I come, I'll go to the camp management and ask them whether they have any gender-related issues or any child cases. If they have, they'll tell me and they'll tell me the zone and the block. I will go with them to visit the people concerned and then we counsel them. We know how to talk to them. We go to the grassroots of the problem and see whether we can solve it. We the women, we the police officers, let us not just take this uniform as an advantage. We are the mothers. We are the mothers of these kids tomorrow. We are the mothers of these presidents. We are the mothers of these teachers. We are the mothers of the high diplomatic people. So whatever it is, we should come down to earth. Let us be carpets. Let people work on us. We are here for peacekeeping. Let us maintain the peace. And charity begins at home. We being the family, if we maintain peace, I think it will be very easy for us to maintain peace for the poor and vulnerable IDPs. We have to respect diversity. So women should be encouraged to come on this kind of missions so that they can also encourage the people they meet in these conditions that no condition is permanent. And also it is we the women who can encourage the small children so that they can go to school. They are the future leaders of tomorrow. I had the opportunity to come to South Sudan. I was leaving my family, but I said, my, my family needs me more than the people I'm going to meet. But I am also going to meet these people so that I can see what we, the women, we, the police officers, can do for them. That Aja is able to believe in the POC societies because of her uh, being a woman, being a mom, and, and being in the um, in this POC mandate, and she's able to um, to, to deliver that that expectation over and beyond uh, what 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 we can offer in the mission, and, and I think that's where she comes in. She's very social to the IDP here. They love her. They give her the name uh, Nyagwa, which is uh, a name of the Nuer uh, uh, language, and also. He, I hear that he has another name also when we go for one of the training in POC1. They give her another name, those of POC1 also, that she's called Nyanyan, which is Rain.